and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Arclight Reanimator. That's right, we are putting the Arclight Phoenix uh, shell, you know, like with just a whole bunch of spells and Arclight Phoenix and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And we're putting Bonder Revival and Dracuseth in the deck. We've played a whole bunch of different reanimate decks with Bonder Revivals and Dracusets. You know, like we've played like Mardu and Grixis and Sultai. A lot of different flavors of those cards. And it is a very strong combo. So what if we take like a, another established deck that just has a lot of good things going for it and kind of just add the those uh, combo pieces in there instead of like building around the combo pieces and really focusing on them. So this deck has a lot of velocity thanks to Charter Course and Tormenting Voice and Opt. So we can spin through the deck pretty quickly. So we can get our Jackie Seth into the graveyard and find our Bond Revival. So it's not like we have to be playing four of each. And that's not really even our, our main game plan um, there. And it's not like Bond Revival is just going to be a bad card for us even if we can't find Dracuseth, because we are playing these really big Crackling Drakes also. So putting a Crackling Drake into play with Haste can surprise people off um, off guard and, you know, maybe have like a 10 power Haste Flyer that uh, just comes in and finishes them off. So this one looks pretty interesting. So we got, you know, we got a kind of a Grixis-ish mana base. We're mostly blue-red with a little bit of black. Uh, the little bit of black gives us a pretty sweet looking sideboard though we got cast down for like the bigger dinosaurs and night pack ambushers and stuff like that we got a whole bunch of ritual of soots for all these nissa decks um so that's going to be a really good sideboard card for us like whenever they're making their uh lands into creatures and everything they're probably not going to be expecting the arc light phoenix deck to be playing ritual of soot but we got those i think chandra we're going to try out Chandra here because I think like this minus two could be really nice uh, with all of these spells with it being able to recast, especially after sideboard. If we're bringing in like duresses or cast down or noxious grasp or anything like that, the minus two can cast all of them. And that minus two can cast finale of promise also. So that could be really sweet. And uh, yeah, I got some good old Kefnets, a Ral for some extra card advantage against control. That's what we got. A pretty nice looking deck. Here, this is, yeah, Rattleclaw donated for this deck. Uh, we we just changed up a couple of things here uh, together, talking through it and everything, and this is where we ended up, and this looks pretty awesome. So let's give this a try. So this is a donation deck, and that's what the two Ds stand for there, donation deck, anytime you see those on the screen. So donation decks, we send them on over to the traditional constructed queue where we can um, put it, Put it against the test, see if we can win five matches before we lose two. Whichever one happens first. And here we go, Arclight Reanimator. This looks like this will be a fun one. What do you think, Hawkeye? All right, we're playing some guy with a bad username. <laughs> well, just all removal. Do we just keep a hand of just all removal and just hope that they're playing like an aggro deck and not like a control deck where we just have no relevant cards? We probably don't. We probably mulligan this. It's good mana though and everything. But I think we mulligan. Hey, JMS. All right, better. <laughs> so I guess we'll get rid of Dracuseth. Even though I really do like me some dragons. Hmm. Cool. Well, hopefully we draw a land and we can like opt-op shock. 
Hmm. Well, I probably need to go Shock Shock. I could cast Opt first and just hope one of our top two cards is a red source, but if it's not, then we're looking pretty bad. We're not really looking that bad. We're just looking worse. Darn. Yeah, that was definitely greedy. Certainly. Seeing if my opponent plays another one drop here, thinking that they're more safe than what they are. All right. Many have challenged me over the ages. None have prevailed. The sky is my domain. Believe me, I wish... I, I want to be ditching Draki, Seth. But it's just the smarter play to be ditching Phoenix right now. Ride the winds to victory. Yeah, if, if this resolves, we could do Draki, Seth on the next one. We'll see if it resolves. That's not good. Thanks, Arx Jelly. Arc Cloud. Welcome. I can't imagine this Bond Revival re resolving, but man, that would be sweet if it did. This would be amazing if we could get Dracu Seth in this in this uh, matchup here. Do not challenge a raging river. I'm not expecting it to resolve at all. No, no set main deck. Put two shocks to the bottom. <clears throat> Jelly tug for the fifth month. So we have charter course for sorcery and then opter shock for instant. First resub of the day. Thanks, Jelly tug. Hmm. 
Aw. I actually I'll leave it to cheers now. Okay. This is not not ideal. All stall subside. So that resolved really quickly. So we know we know they don't have spell pierce. Just whether or not they have other counter magic. We certainly we certainly hope not. Honestly, I kind of thought it was Wednesday. Also, when you said it was when you said it was hump day, I was like, "Yeah, it's definitely Wednesday." That sounds that sounds like the day that it is right now. And then Matthew's like, "Wait, it's not hump day." And then I looked at the calendar and it said Thursday, and I was like, "Oh, I guess it's Thursday. Never mind." That also sounds like the deck, the day that it is. Who knows? It could be any day. <laughs> yeah, our opponent does have a really bad username. But at least they're, they understand it. They get it. Long, long time. Well, I mean, we can play around Spell Pierce by playing Finale for one. We can, if we play Bond Revival though, and if they have, if they have a counter spell, we lose, or if they have a Trickster, we lose. That's kind of the problem with Bond Revival is we lose to either one. Or a Finale Promise, we won't, we'll lose to a counter spell, but we don't lose to a Trickster. So it's like, I mean, I. I'm just going Bond Revival. No Counterspell, no Trickster. Yeah. Didn't matter. All right, we're going to want all these Duresses, the Kefnet. Ritual set sound cool. The gate sound good. I think we get rid of our bond revival package because it's just it's just too expensive. Um, and with getting rid of that, I don't like tormenting voice too much because tormenting voice getting countered is really 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 rough. Finale of promise is also pretty expensive. Let's cut one of those. So this gives us sixty one right now. Electromancer isn't great with Ritual of Set. These two don't really work that well together, but they also aren't playing removal, and getting Electromancer in play lets us cast a lot more spells. But I suppose it's not very good with Ritual of Set. So we'll just cut those and get this cast down in here, too. All right, let's give this a try. Yeah, Deckmaster should be on. Should be. Y'all let me know if it's working or not. Hmm. I'm going to be saving Opt to be, you know, to be able to have on turn three or turn four be able to have lots of spells. 
Cool, it's working for you? Good. No, Edstein, you can kind of go in any direction that you want, uh, crafting your first real deck. There's... Yeah, like... You, yeah, you can go any, any direction you want. There's... Uh, I don't have, like, any specific suggestion or anything. Whatever you like. I think I'll just be casting the opt here looking for a land. Oh man, Kefnet's so cool. Lots of stuff rotated mono white. Trying to say with mono blue. I don't I don't expect mono blue or mono white to be decks after rotation. At least not how they look right now. See so yeah, mono white has yeah. Villainish Marshall, History Banalia, some of the good one drops. <laughs> Finale of Promise with Duress is pretty sweet. Okay, Marauder. So do we think... Ugh. I'll wait a turn for the Ritual of Soot. Gosh, all these cards are great. We're drawing a land next turn. I want to I want to go duress ritual of set next turn. I don't think they have a counter spell now after I threw out that charter course and they didn't come close to countering it. I'm gonna wait till next so I, I don't think they have the counter spell right now, so I'm gonna wait till next turn and see if we draw the land and get to duress set. I don't, I don't know if we're drawing a land or not. We're going to hopefully draw a land. Darn. It's unfortunate. Hmm.
Yeah, so it looks like they drew a negate for the for the turn last turn. Because that resolved really, really fast also. So I think that was their draw step for turn last turn was the was that negate. They usually never counter your chart or voice that's pitching a Phoenix. I don't know what they're doing with their life. That's just that's just like the best card to, to counter. Yeah, like those are like the best things to be countering. The tokens deck is the same deck from from a few days ago. So it's it's uploaded, but it's uploaded from a few days ago whenever we played it before. All right, three retorts gone. That cost three. So could you know I could try to shock the Terramander in response to an adapt if they adapt right now on their turn, but I'm not going to because I I want to be able to play three spells next turn. I hope hopefully we'll draw a spell and then play all three next turn, get these two Phoenixes back. So I'll just cast down the Terramander. Obviously if they have a dive down, it's kinda rough. Or if we don't draw a spell, it's also rough. Hmm. Do I wait a turn? Gosh, that's just so risky if I just chump block with the Arc Light Phoenix this turn and try to wait a turn and try to cast three spells next turn because there's just no guarantee that I'll draw a spell. I guess I'll keep this land in hand if we if we draw like Charter Chorus, I'll just you know we can draw two, discard this land or something. Good thing we didn't wait a turn. Man, I'd love an opt. Yeah, I'm pretty. Uh, no, I have. I I saw that storm. We haven't really talked about it, but yeah, I'm definitely excited about getting card style for basic lands coming up here. That was like a perfect draw step. It wasn't. I mean, it wasn't perfect. It wasn't finale. Red finale is the best card that could be drawing. Or crackling Drake, another great one. Things are more calming than a raging thunderstorm. Quell your temper. Blah. <laughs> you have the subtlety of rock. Give me this Kefnet. Lucky. I've seen one opt so far. One opt, two charter course. Respect nature, and it will offer assistance. 
Come on, deck. seen two tricksters so far if I attack I die to trickster Obsession was certainly a reasonable card for them to have in hand. That was probably a reason why I should... To not attack more than Trickster. I, it went to my attacks pretty quickly, so I could tell they didn't have Trickster. Oh, come on. Charter Course also? But them just sandbagging a Curious Obsession makes a lot of sense. Gosh, we just flooded up. They're just drawing all their card draw stuff here. All their ops and... Chart of course and everything. Darn. I thought we had this game won. You know, like after we cast that Ritual of Soot, had the two Crackling Drakes in hand, but their their next two draw steps were Riz Wizard's Retort, Wizard's Retort to counter the Crackling Drakes. I needed to draw two more spells, get these phoenixes back. Yes, Deckmaster should be working. That was unfortunate. Definitely thought we were going to be winning that game. Well, someone someone earlier said the Deckmaster was working for them. I don't know. I have it, I have it pulled up. Oh, uh, it was working for you. Then you refreshed, and now it's broken. All right, well, I'll try exiting it and reopening it. All right, I just closed it. I'm going to reopen it. All right, how about now? Now re refresh your stream now. I just put it back up again. Terramander is good against Mono Red. It's kind of about when you play it. You don't want to play turn one Terramander. But Terramander in the late game that you get to play and then adapt immediately, that's going to be a pretty good card. Welsh Dragon. Keeping that three-month streak going with that Twitch Prime resub. Welcome back, Welsh. Thank you very much. So I didn't ditch Arclight Phoenix here because we don't even have three spells to get it back.
So I was just planning on casting Arclight Phoenix this turn, but with them playing Risen Reef there, this looks to be, and like the Unclaved Territory, they're going Unclaved Territory. They're going real hard elemental, and so I can't really let the Risen Reef stay alive. Correct, Selvin. Yeah, th this is the order of the cards, that we're, or order of the decks that we're playing today. Yeah, we really don't need any more lands, deck. Really don't need to draw any more lands. Every one of our draw steps has been a land so far. The only card that we've drawn that wasn't a land was the Charter Course that we opted for. Okay. Can't complain now. That's a good one. I want Charter Quartz opt. Do you get to... Do you get to stack these? You do. So I... Yeah, because I want opt to work first. Wait, uh, I guess I... So I target the chart first. And then the opt? Okay. Okay, cool. So yeah, we want opt first to see, like, maybe we draw Dracu Seth or something. Because then we want to draw two and discard. I really don't need another Drown Catacomb. Hmm. Well, lots of lands. So we've gone through half of our lands in 20 cards. Gone through 11 of the 22. We're going to find some good stuff here shortly. Omnath would be a really big problem. <laughs> Obviously they have that. It still just kills us. Flame Sweet. Flame Sweep does kill elementals. I don't feel like we have enough velocity through our deck, like enough. I don't think we have enough card draw. I'm not sure about four opt, four charter course, four tournament voice being enough. With playing these games now. We seem just to be sitting there not being able to do stuff quite a bit. Could just be some unlucky draws though also. Don't want all, 
Don't want so much like spot removal. Let's get rid of these lightning strikes. All right, I think this is it. I'm gonna play Electromancer and Soot. This hand has a lot of potential. No, our deck's not being too kind to us. That is true. Maybe we said the deck has like 20 cards that just spin the wheels. We have like 12, right? Not 20. We have four chart, four tormenting voice, four opt. That's just 12. That's not. It's a big, big difference from 12 or 20. If you imagine playing like a 20 land deck or a 12 land deck, it's a. Jolner, thanks to the tier one sub. Welcome back. Keeping that five month resub there. Thank you so much, Jolner. Hmm. I do want that card. And KB, I'm, I'm saying that we don't have enough wheel spinning. I don't think there is enough velocity. This game, obviously, we've had a lot of velocity. You know, we've drawn so many of our ops and charter courses, and our decks looked a lot better because of it. But I don't think that overall we maybe actually have enough in here. Because we, we have 12 card draw cards. Obviously, the finales are kind of like 
three more. But uh, you have to have the other ones first. And our deck just doesn't do anything if we don't have like those 12 cards. I can do stuff if you don't have phoenixes. Yeah, reanimate Drakki Seth. is definitely doing something. And Crackling Drake's pretty good too. Oslin, it definitely, Bam Party Bus definitely needs some updating. That's a good one. So I don't think they're going to be able to play an Omnath here, right? does return to the battlefield tapped and attacking. So they can't, well, basically they couldn't like return this Leafkin and not have it be attacking. Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna chump block here. We just don't need this Electromancer right now. Hey, Rockle Guru. I certainly like our chances if they don't find Risen Reef. Cavalier of Thorns is quite big. Let's play Cast Down instead of Lava Coil. And honestly, Noxious Grasp. I guess they do have. They have like those little red creatures, like the Thunderkins. Coils do exile so they don't get stuff back. Okay. Because Cavalier Thorns is a card that we do need to be a little worried about. Yeah, Thunderkin Awakener is a non-green creature in their deck. And that little red scampering thing. Yeah, Scampering Scorcher.
Unfortunately, Leaf Kin Druid doesn't. I'm going to need another red source for finale anyway. I should have played Watery Grave here, honestly. I kind of just played that too fast. Played that with Electromancer too fast. I mean, Electromancer is my best play here, but if they shock Electromancer, that'll be unfortunate. Cool, no shock. So I, I think I maybe I should have just like played Watery Grave, had the shock for the Risen Reef, and then untapped and gone Electromancer plus Charticors. But this obviously is our best play if they didn't have shock. Because we all know that they have Risen Reef on turn three. There's just not a, a single time where an elemental deck doesn't have Risen Reef on three, especially if they didn't do anything on one or two. That's the reason why they kept their hand. Hey, Rightville. Howdy. Yeah, Electromancer is pretty awesome when you have it on turn two and it sticks around like what we've had here. Pretty awesome. That's unfortunate. Get another Risen Reef trigger. Hey, Dan. Darn. Don't get to bond a revival. Certainly possible I'll regret attacking with the Electromancer. But we haven't found Ritual of Soot. It doesn't really seem like we're going to need Ritual of Soot. So ditch the Watery Grave because I do want five mana next turn where I can Bond Revival and then Shock or Coil. And I don't have to, don't have to, you know, pay two life to be able to do that. there's just not really a reason to do that. We go four upstairs, then three and three. All right. Our deck was doing its thing. That was pretty sweet. We had our one Electromancer on turn two. 
found one of our two Draki Seths, one of our two Bond Revivals. Perfect. I would get, need the card draw to be able to find like the one ups and stuff. That was good. That was good. Good old turn five kill. Through triple Risen Reef. You know, they had. Ugh, they had turn three, four, five Risen Reef with some other stuff. And we had the turn five kill. Very nice. I mean, they're putting back Crackling Drake, Lightning Strike, or Tormenting Voice. Keeping the two lands, keeping Electromancer, keeping Shock. I don't know which one of these... I don't know which one of the other cards I'm supposed to put back, though. Like, do I just put this back? Maybe it's the Lightning Strike. Yeah, let's go Lightning Strike. Crackling Drake's just going to be good against everything. Lightning Strike may be good, may be bad. We already have one other removal. We have card. We have card draw to draw to look for other removal. Where we have more removal spells than threats, and so having a threat is nice. Obviously, it can bite us. Obviously, we could just draw, you know, like, two Crackling Drakes or whatever and not draw any lands and and so on. Like, the risk. Yeah, we have, we have a shock, but no shocks. <laughs> yeah, the reason why I was talking about maybe cutting a voice was, was to be able to add discoveries. Like, I... I definitely didn't want less than eight of the two mana card draw cards. And I kind of feel like we need more. What's a Zorius, Gilgate, and Island doing? I don't know. Electromancer lets us... Oh. If, if their plan was Narset, which, you know, Narset is, of course, a problem, Electromancer would let us attack and shock a Narset. Hmm. So yeah, our first promise we'll get we'll do the shock and the charter course, and then our second promise, hopefully we'll find an instant there, and then like instant tormenting voice. Promises are just so strong. It's hard to get it's hard to pitch them because they're just you know this is a charter course and a shock, and then this could be a tormenting voice plus something else, or just a tormenting voice, at the very worst. So might as well just get rid of the tormenting voice. Obviously, if they kill the Electromancer and then I don't draw a land, this would be worse. Wait, cancel. So 
Sorry. X is two. Favorable wins. Oh no! Can't kill that thing anymore. Or do you a five four? Five four is pretty big. Hmm. Now I can kill that thing. Oh wait, I was gonna be able to kill it anyway with coil. Coil finale. Coil. Is that better than just playing crackling Drake? So if I go coil, I don't have things to discard. I guess I could discard. I guess I could just discard coil if I go shock, voice shock. So I'm basically using these two spells to kill that eagle. That's that doesn't really seem worth it. Okay. I, don't, I think we're pretty safe here being at 9. I think we're pretty safe. The next turn I get to coil something and bond revival, put the crackling drake in with haste. So we have like the two crackling drakes both being lethal and we have a coil. Yeah, lightning strike, finale, lightning strike was lethal. That's not as cool though as Bond Revival a Crackling Drake. Come on, how I'm like you know, casting two burn spells to kill your opponent, you get to do that all the time. How often do you get to reanimate a nine four flyer that ETB draws a card with haste? That's pretty cool. Alright, grasp, cast down, zut, Gafnet. Just go turn control deck. Yeah, cool factor is important. Uh, you know I didn't have the land there, Judge. I drew the land off the crackling Drake. I didn't. I couldn't play the land first. It wasn't in my hand. I drew it off the crackling Drake. Um, hmm. This is probably too much removal. I 
Do I need, you know, cast down grass, coil, strike. That's nine cards. Do I need nine two mana removal spells? Seems like a lot. Probably don't. Let's get rid of strikes. Their creatures could maybe be bigger than strikes. Pretty fast. Um, still kind of want to do this stuff. Bond Revival, Dracuseth. Maybe we don't get to. All right, I'm going to cut those. I didn't really see anything else I wanted to cut, and we were running out of time, so I just kind of panicked and just cut the Dracu sets and one Bond Revival. The turn before when you could have Lava Coiled the Eagle, and previously it was a Shock on a Risen Reef. All right, so yeah, I'll try to play lands first more. It's a weird hand. I really like the first three cards, the Kefnet and the Soot. The Bond Revival and the Finale of Promise are just doing nothing right now. But I, I really do like Kefnet and Soot, and I like, you know, the, we got a good amount of lands towards them. We need one more land for Kefnet, one more land, a black land for Ritual of Soot. I think I can kind of sit back, because either we're going to draw land, or we're going to draw cheap stuff. Like, we don't, there's not basically, there's not very many cards that are bad to draw. If we think, like, the four Arc Lights, the three Crackling Drake, and the two other Finales, that's nine I guess two other Ritual of Sets. So there's 11 cards that would be bad draws. Everything else is good. So 42 out of 53 cards being a good draw means you're probably drawing some good cards. And there we go. That's a good card. Setting up for a turn four ritual of sit nicely. Hey, WQ. I understand, Judge. Yeah, I understand. You're good. Giving them a kind of a tasty card to counter. So definitely looks like they have a counter spell. Darn. I wanted them to counter it because I want the Ritual of Soot to resolve next turn. They, they don't seem like they had very many cards in hand. All right, let's see. Hmm. I guess I just go to their turn and just shock and cast down their things so they don't get to use the counter magic during my turn.
Hey, hey, Woodward. Um, yeah, I haven't taken a look at that list too closely for that. Yeah, that Brewer's Delight format. They'll be coming up here next month. Um, but that looks pretty cool. It. One thing I did notice, you know, I just I just glanced through the list. One thing I did notice is that they banned like every single red card. There was like five red cards banned out of like the fifteen cards ish you know i'm just kind of estimating um, like just from the top of my head what i can remember hmm. i don't want either of these finales or the bond revival countered but they're just going to get countered and it makes me sad I think, I think they probably have, like, Dovin's Veto or Negate, something like that. Ugh. Yeah, Live the Stage, Teamkin, Chain Whirler. Wasn't there, like, another one? Well, I suppose Shock's not actually killing anything. With double favorable wins, so we might as well shock them. Get this Crackling Drake going. Wow, that resolved. Poor opponent. Looks like they maybe they just didn't have anything this game besides Hawk and Miscreant, and that's not going to win very many games. Yep, yep, we got lots and lots of filtering here. So yeah, Ritual of Sud seems like a really good card to have in this deck. Double Black's not too that hard to get with, you know, all the ops and charter courses and all that kind of stuff, you know, whenever you're looking for black mana. When you know you need it. All right, two and one for Arclight Reanimator. I suppose so. Hello. Abzan stuff. What are we doing over here with Abzan stuff? Hmm. 
Hmm. It's basically debating. I'm going to strike this. Might as well just do that now. Uh, I'm going to strike it instead of coil, because if they're if they're playing angels, they're going to have, like, Shalai that I'm going to want to coil. The debate in my head was either just play the water grave in tapped, or we actually cast opt now. And since we don't have another red source for Crackling Drake here, we're going to go ahead and cast the opt. Look for a red source for Dracarys. Crackling Dracarys. All right, well, that's unfortunate. My heart is hollow with scorn for you. I require your body, not your soul. Curse you and your progeny. Where's more red mana? We look like a a really black heavy deck here. <laughs> We've drawn like five of our, you know, what, like nine black sources or so. If fighting tooth and claw is what it takes, my pride grows stronger. Redland? Nope. Redland would have been all the finale of promise and get rid of these things. Um. Hmm. So do I just coil? Yeah, I should have charted first. I was just kind of playing fast. So do I just coil Resplendent Angel now? Or do I get really greedy and <laughs> do this looking for red mana? So that that's going to gain three life right now. Probably shouldn't get really greedy. I guess, because all they need is, yeah, all they need is just a land to activate the Resplendent Angel. So no, we, we can't get greedy. Darn. We got the Red Kitty for red mana. Now do you see the benefits of peace? Bone stack is pretty cool though. Nailed it. Bone stack's pretty cool. Now do you see the benefits of friendship is the best cure? Alright, we can just ditch that electromancer. I don't think we need that thing anymore. Uh oh. Boo. Now do you see the benefits of find your inner strength? Oh, I guess I can just ditch this thing too though. Alright, so I could do chart a course. No lightning strike left? Shot kill anything? No. So I could do chart a course opt. Wait. You can do. Wait, am I supposed to wait a turn and then do finale? 
finale into finale. Does that work? I'm guessing that doesn't work, finale into finale. Does that work? You can only finale for zero. All right, never mind. Uh, let's get you first, you second. No. Your soul can inspire others. Now, do you see the benefits of peace? Bleh. No, I haven't seen a phoenix yet. Yeah, I could Bond Revival back Crackling Drake, of course. And have the, the Crackling Drake have haste, and I could kill, like, this big Ajani. But then if I do that, then, then they gain, they would gain two life, grow this thing, and I would take two damage, go down to 12. Now do you see the benefits of peace? All right, that's cool. Is this thing gonna kill me? If they gain any life, I'm dead. Ugh. So this thing do does two damage to me, so it put me down to seven. And it would grow this thing to be a 6-6. Six, six. I guess that's just the risk I have to take right now. So I think I have to do the 4 to the Pride Mate. Because I think the Pride Mate's going to go to a 4-4. Four, four. And then we'll do 3 here, 3 here. It looks worse than it is. I will return, and with more by my side. Hmm. I'll do it. Yeah, I was just in too tough a spot with those those pride mates. Let's get Noxious Grasp, Cast Down, Ritual of Soot. Gotta kill those things. Chandra, Ral. Do I want Negate here? These are Johnny's. We're basically gonna be playing a really long game.
Do we even want Dracuseth and Bond Revival? It's got shocks. Let's cut shock. Yep. We're putting in three instant, instant speed removal spells with cast downs and noxious grasps. So I think we can cut those. We still have a good amount of instants for finale, I promise. But what are the other four cards that I'm bringing out? Am I just taking, should I just cut Bond Revival, Dracuseth? We want the dragon. Play one dragon. Definitely go down to one and one. Alright. No, I'm just going to zero with those. I'm not going to play those. Just replacing those with card advantage engines. You know, Chandra, Kefnet, Ral. All right, come on, Kefnet. Spell? Sweet. Kefnet's great. So I can opt on their turn and reveal the card off of Kefnet. So I'm not gonna just opt right I'm not gonna opt right now because I don't have the mana. So I'm probably gonna opt on their turn next turn. This island's really cool. I will teach you humility if I must. Now do you see the benefits of peace? Always reveal. Another scar. Another memory. So yeah, we'll opt this turn and then be able to cast the card. Yeah, in the in the advanced filters there is an option to change basic land art. No greater treasure. Click the basic land tab it's next to common on commons. Stuff like that if you're gonna filter by commons, for example. I am proud of those. Just head right on over there. Now do you see the benefits of peace?
Darn. Oh, I don't really want to reveal Chandra. Or do I? Yeah, sure. I've learned a bunch of new burn spells to try on you. Hey, good job, Denriel. One match, games uh, two and three against Nexus. Way to go. Now do you see the benefits of peace? What instant do I want? Strike. I really wish I could lava coil and tormenting voice with the finale of promise. I guess I could just cast the lava coil in my hand, I suppose. Or sorry, with with the with the finale yeah, with the finale I wanna be able to tormenting voice coil, but I can't. think on my feet. Darn. That was unfortunate. No spell. A familiar Let's get the arc light phoenix back. One that grows no sweeter. I'm not revealing cards to do a certain dominance. Revealing cards because it's something you don't get to do very often. For a our true strength lies in our friendship. How about asserting dominance? It's just it's just an option you just don't get in the game hardly ever. Hardly ever get to reveal your cards. So I wanted to. We can do going lot going uh uh, counter on the Chandra so we can minus it again next turn for the finale and not have to worry about it. Alright, so finale. What do we want? Tormenting voice, opt. This one before. I should be opting here first. It still works. not memeing the opponent i'm just i'm just enjoying doing something that you don't get to do very often R reveal cards off kefnet i don't know why y'all think i'm trying to meme or something or the assert dominance or anything like that just doing something that you don't get to do in the game very often
Doesn't mean that you have to do it. I enjoy it myself. So we, we did see um, whatever that removal spell is, the two mana exile something uh, CMC4 greater. Dispark. Yes, we saw Dispark, which does make me want to play Dracuseth less. I kind of want to play a Duress. I don't want to play a duress. For the Ajani's, of course. And just removal spells. I guess it would be over like a ritual of soot, maybe? No, I'll just keep it like this. So we'd play like a tap land on one and then start opting. Basically looking for lands after that. Our hand's very good at four mana. You know, like these things are good. I could see this working. So we need, so we draw our card for turn. And then turn two, we draw another card. We opt. So we have to have a land in the top four cards with this hand. That's certainly reasonable to have a land in the top four cards. Land. We gotta charge. Gotta charge up these sleeves. Get this land. Charge them up. Hey, what's up, Joey? Went to bed 226, woke up 326. That's pretty good. Always had it. Land. Hmm. Am I supposed to be? Am I supposed to tormenting voice away a crackling Drake? So that feels kind of weird. Guess so. Oh, come on, deck. Cool, no Ajani. I was definitely kind of expecting them to play an Ajani. Wow. What are you doing here, deck? What are you doing? Uh, 
Oh my gosh, you have got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. There's no lands. Worst land to get. That was really unfortunate. I don't... Yeah, I don't, I don't really have anything else to say about that game except for it was unfortunate and that I think I, re I really thought that we were gonna be winning that like I th I think like how like those those games were we were really really favored but that's the kind of game that we could lose overall this deck was pretty cool it felt that we needed a little bit more velocity early because I was flooding out really bad in a couple of games but as we played the deck more and more um, it didn't really feel like that and I don't really regret any of the card choices I think that I think all of our card choices are pretty good here I think we just kind of had some circumstances where we where you know magic happened where um, we, you know, like we had a couple of games like where we just drew all sorts of lands and then we had that game there where we just didn't draw any lands. I kept a one lander, but to be fair, we had dug another like 12 cards deep and it only seen two more lands. Or whatever, you know, we were like 20 cards into the deck by that time, but... Oh well, Ritual of Soot was pretty awesome. I like that in the sideboard. I, I basically liked our sideboard. We didn't get to do the Rowl, have the Rowl at all, but I like the Chandra for the later game. Kafnet is just amazing. That card's awesome. Um, the Cast Down the Grass, those are good. I think that the decks that are going to give us the biggest struggle are just the Counterspell heavy decks, you know, like the Mono Blue kind of matchup. Um, yeah, Rattleclaw, I did enjoy it. This is my favorite arc-like deck that I've ever played. This one was pretty sweet. And I, I do like how adding black to the deck really does give you the good option of turning into a control deck. You know, turning into a kind of a crappy Grixis deck, Grixis control deck, but it's still, like, for, for a certain matchup, definitely good enough to pull out some wins. Um, and, you know, like, the Crackling Drake is just awesome in a control deck. And so I, I liked that aspect. And I like against like the green deck that that's just playing like the Risen Reefs, how we just went over the top with Binder Revival, Dracuseth against like the Risen Reef decks. So I like a lot that's going on here. Yeah, Legion's End is definitely worth considering. Um, didn't end up going with Legion's End because um, like basically I wanted Noxious Grasp to kill like bigger things, to kill like Nissa, Tamio, large green creatures. And, you know, the cast down can kind of do that, too, with the, the Nightpack Ambusher. Because most of the things that cost two, we're going to be pretty good against with Shock, Coil, Strike. 
I think one card in particular that that we would that I am that I don't really have a, a good plan for is is a Danto Vanguard. And so maybe playing cards like Legion's End for a Danto Vanguard. Um, you know, if you start running into running into a lot of Adanto Vanguards, you you know you feel like you need something for that card. You know, that's a good one. You know, you have Moment of Craving, also, but Legion's End is just is perfect there. Um, the Electromancer was really good for us. It really was because there are a lot of blue green decks. Like bl the blue green decks are the most popular, and those decks don't have a ton of removal. And so we're like when you get to like land Electromancer, it's awesome. But it's it's not like a card that maybe we need to like rely on. So. You know, I'm not sure if we really need four of them. And if we find it late game, you know, we have our Charter Courses, Tormenting Voices that can kind of get rid of it. But it was certainly, it certainly won us both our games against our Risen Reef deck. Just playing it on turn two, it was incredible. Yeah, Disfigure is another option over Moment of Craving. I, I like Legion's End more than either of those, though. Yeah, Angrass Rampage does does work against Adanto Vanguard and Feather. That is true. Uh, the Ritual Soots are very, pretty good against Feather, but I guess they have the indestructible thing. <clears throat> but um, yeah, Moon's Life, Simic Flash is awesome. It's a really really strong deck. Playing all your cards at instant speed is a very strong ability. But anyway, that's Arclight Reanimator. Uh, pretty cool looking deck here. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it as well. And if so, please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. But that's it here for Arclight Reanimator. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another video.